Hi, I'm Karthik. I'm a traveler and I've been actively traveling for over 15 years now. Travel is a means for me to connect with the world that I've not seen and disconnect from the world I come from. I am Kachu Travels. Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the Kovalong Surf Trail. In this episode, we will be watching an interview with Nora Lim, a yoga instructor, and we'll also be listening to some music by the band Fanculos. Let's dive straight in. On that navy palms, bend your right knee and draw the right foot into your right hip like that. Okay, take a breath in and a breath out. Think of the mats. Um, became a like a like I would say like a little like a baby for me like I I was playing along I was playing around with um, different ways to get this message out there and so I recently just launched the website really just maybe in the last couple of weeks to bring like-minded people together not just in Chennai but also internationally as well and hopefully form this community where we are able to bring all that we gain on the asana practice, on the mat itself, to a level that is off the mat. And because I also um, I also specialize in aerial yoga, so literally we got to think off the mat. And some people may think that yeah, all these different forms of yoga that has evolved over the years are you know are not real forms of yoga just on the mat anymore. It's a practice that influences everybody on and off the mat. Um, so um, I teach aerial yoga and I'm fully aware to and be completely present. If your body is here and your mind is somewhere else and you're completely present, then obviously it's not the intention and the goal that we're aiming to. And obviously when that happens to you, you will find that maybe you risk injury, maybe you risk a certain discomfort in the body that you may not be used to. And so it's always important to think about being present. And in this day and age, there's so much external stimulus around us, how hard it is to be completely present and not be overwhelmed by everything around us. But through the practice of yoga, which is what is a practice, it doesn't just happen overnight. So we have, it's a practice, it's a consistent practice, a regular practice that drives us towards that quality of presence, full experience when you're out in the water. And when you are paddling and catching that wave, your mind is somewhere else too, you're probably going to be eating a lot of, maybe I shouldn't have said that word, okay, maybe you're going to be drinking a lot of water because it's about the mind and the body connection. Like anything else, as I mentioned, surfing, motorcycling, cycling, running, everyone says there's a meditative quality to it. But what's the meditative quality? First is concentration, like the eight limbs of yoga, right? The last, the, the sixth and the seventh limb is concentration first. You gotta concentrate. You gotta focus on something. You gotta be in the moment. If you're not, you're not gonna be able to embrace and experience the full, the, the full uh, sense of the activity that you're engaging in, right? And then from the concentration, from dharana, there comes dhyana, which is meditation. So obviously there's a meditative quality that comes uh, and follows through from concentration, from focusing on one thing, but being really present.
and with that ends this episode so if you like what you're seeing please do share this video please do comment and of course please do subscribe to see similar such videos